the battle of the bastards is about to begin how stark the rebellious how stark i guess they are really fight against house bolton and they are not alone little does john snow and his forces know that there is actually a force of Vale Knights preparing or riding to battle uh, to face down the Boltons as well. And they have a whole horde of Knights of the Vale here, brought by Sansa Stark to aid them in their greatest hour of need. What's up, guys, and welcome back. We're here with some more ice and fire total war. We do have a 3v3 here, uh, though it is going to start as a 3v2 as the Boltons ascend up this hill here towards House Stark. And uh, yeah, this is a uh, scenario that we did on the stream pretty much just yesterday, I think. And uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a fun one. I really enjoyed this one. It was a fairly fun and close one, I'd say. Um, and yeah, we get to sort of recreate sort of a very iconic battle from uh, the from the show really not really from the book so this uh, this mod is based on the books rather than on the uh, on the actual uh, show so like uniforms uh, look more medieval as you can see here that's not how like stark uniforms look really in the uh, in the show and i like that i prefer the medieval look i think uh, in a way i'm kind of certainly getting uh, more used to it and the great thing about uh, this compared to the seven kingdoms mod which is the other uh, game of thrones mod for a Tale of Total War, um, which is on the show, is that replays work. So I can actually show off some of the glorious replays. Seven Kingdoms is a pretty fun mod. It doesn't get a lot of love uh, anymore. I don't think actually it's uh, getting at all any love. Um, but replays really, really will work. While uh, for Ice and Fire, they work pretty well. Um, but yeah, we have two uh, sort of Stark armies over here. So we have, uh, we don't actually have a, like a Jon Snow unique general, so we just have free riders. We could have had, um, I guess, Rob and just pretended he was Jon instead. We do have Rob. We have two Robs actually. There's one with Grey Wind and one without Grey Wind, which is kind of cool. I would like to actually check out that one. Uh, like, do a grip, like a, a Rob Stark sort of scenario. There's definitely a few we can do. But we have two sort of Stark free riders here. They're medium uh, cabinets. They're pretty weak, uh, really. They're very vulnerable. Um, and uh, then we have a Vale army over here. They're just led by a you know, sort of Knights of the Vale. I guess that could be, um, uh, Sir, I forgot what his name is, Sir, something Royce. Uh, but yeah, Sir Royce, basically. Oh, Lord Royce, isn't it, I think. Um, and then we have the Boltons over here. So we just have, yeah, uh, three Bolton armies. They're part of the uh, North faction. Um, that's why they have like a Stark band next to them, but then they are like a sub faction within it, which is kind of how like these armies are, these factions are set up. So you have like the North, the Westlands and all that, but you have like sub factions within the main sort of faction. So you could bring like a United arm if you wanted to the North, like some Boltons, some Starks. Um, and eventually, hopefully, more minor houses. Uh, it's still very much a work in progress. Is ice and fire? You can get it on the workshop, uh, not, not on the workshop. Sorry, on uh, mod DB. Um, I'll leave a link for it in the description. Um, but it is very much a work in progress. Uh, we do have, I think, Bruce Bolton here, uh, who is supposed to represent Ramsey. So this is supposed to be Ramsey Bolton. Uh, so before any of you go, oh, Bruce wasn't at this battle. It's not supposed to be Bruce. It's supposed to be Ramsey. They just wanted to bring a unique general. So we let them bring one. Uh, probably we should have brought Rob since they were bringing Roos. Um, but yeah, it's. Uh, but yeah, if you want to see more Game of Thrones action on the channel, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment show your support. It really does help out the channel. And if you ever want to get involved in some of these sort of battles, then do feel free to uh, join my Discord. I've just recently made a Game of Thrones role for uh, those that are interested in playing some of this sort of stuff. We're gonna definitely do more streams today. It was really popular when we uh, showed it off the other night. And I, I wanna do more sort of like streams and scenarios for it, especially if the mod does get more uh, love. Eamon was playing in this uh, replay and was on the stream for most of it. And he did say that uh, he was gonna do a lot of reworking. He's um, got a lot of experience of doing Eldrath and he's now gonna come back, he says, and he's gonna probably come and try and redo this mod, which I hope to see. And uh, I hope he does like, we we'll talk about like other eras as well of Game of Thrones. Well, not just Game of Thrones, but Westeros. So they have like the Black Fires, maybe the House of the Dragon. Not just like the War of the Five Kings, but have other sort of conflicts take place. We are just going to fast forward a bit because the, um, the Boltons are taking their time and they're actually getting exhausted coming up here. These flares are, yeah, exhausted just marching this hill. Uh, we did, I, we probably should have come down this hill a bit more. Uh, the bottom players, yeah, were a bit like, ah, oh, you should have probably come down, but it's a. 2v3 to start with and we were like oh we're getting a little overwhelmed uh, a bit overwhelmed and already like a Bolton army was flanking around us so we were like we don't really want to come down this hill too much more or come more closer towards them because we are just going to get outflanked um, but yeah 
the Boltons are slowly, steadily moving up. Uh, so we'll just keep fast forwarding. Uh, they actually have cab forward here. I wondered if they were going to charge these guys in. The bastard delete. Uh, this a uh, heavy house Bolton cab. I think it's a melee cab, technically. It's not actually, a, as you can see here, it's, yeah, it's got a uh, sword. It doesn't actually have a, uh, a lance. So yeah, they're a melee cab, not actually a, a shock cab, which I didn't realize. Um, but yes, they are going to send these guys in in a moment, I think. Uh, it looks like some archers are coming forward actually to try and, you know, harass the cab. Not a bad idea. So we have northern longbows here, uh, which is pretty decent. I think longbows uh, are okay. They've got definitely the best range. I think maybe better range than average archers, but then like the best armor piercing is still like uh, crossbows. Cross crossbows have the weakest amount of range, but by far and away the strongest missile capability. And already though they killed one bastard's elite though, so that's uh, pretty impressive there from the northern longbows because they only fired about one volley. Still managed to get one horseman. There you go. They are now retreating back. Yeah, let me know what you think about this. Uh, this mod, are you a fan or would you prefer like to see like the uh, the show like style armor? I feel like it's a bit more realistic because obviously kind of like how Martin envisaged his world rather than uh, through the, the show. And uh, yeah, who are you rooting for? Are you a team Bolton or your team Stark and Vale? Uh, I'd be interested to know who you're kind of rooting for. Now is the time to make your decision. Let me know in the comments because yeah, the battle is about to begin. As uh, you can see here, looks like the big cav charge you see in the show is actually going to take place on the flank rather than down the center. As we have, yeah, like a, a, just a, a general here. Doesn't even have a name, this is general. And then we have, yeah, Roose Bolton or Ramsey Bolton. He's going to charge on in. There's a lot of uh, spears over here and also pole arms. We have Winterfell Gatekeepers here. So they're like a, a really low tier pole arm unit. Um, but they are going to be sent in. I think they are technically tier two, but I think they're the cheapest unit available to House Stark. We have got some sworn swords back here, so some very elite sort of uh, sword infantry. They're very heavy, uh, or just heavy, but they're tier two, but I'm pretty sure it should be tier three. They are really good. They're really expensive, that's for sure. We've got uh, Winter Wolves over here, tier three, very heavy shock as well, ready to, I guess, support any cab fights that take place. And here we go, the charge the coming in. Ramsey's actually going to be charging in head on, and he's charging into a uh, pole arm formation here, and this is a square as well. It's not going to be good for him, and in he goes. And uh, Cav really suffers when fighting against uh, pole arms and pikes. It really does suffer, and they're actually charging the sworn swords as well back here. If they form shield wall, uh, Cav does often suffer, and yet, yeah, see that Cav be counter charging for the Starks, three riders going in, and they're doing a lot of damage to see their bastard to lead, or even using 30 riders. And uh, Ramsey's already down to half his strength as well. And here comes more cab. Going to charge in. I guess they'll go for maybe the uh, spear sergeants or try to go through the gaps that the uh, the pole arms have made. And, yeah, the cab trying, I guess, trying to get out is going to get stuck on these uh, these squares. There you go. Actually, that's uh, charge has been stopped. Another one has gone in over here, though, as the cab flash here. All the Starks and the Boltons. The Starks will get the better advantage to start with as they are shock cab. The Boltons and Prolong Melee should win this one with their armor and also their melee cap. And there you go. Yeah, I mean, looks like the Free Riders are winning that. We also have, looks like uh, Winter Wolves going in here to try and, you know, support. And looks like we're going to see knife, Knives of the Lord going, which is a tier one, like, light infantry. These guys are a bit like bandits, to be honest. They're about to go in. And it looks like the rest, the front lines are going to engage. So we can see infantry clash in here. Players are going in. They're clashing with the, uh, the spears down here. Spear sergeants holding the line. And the shield wall, they just got to do the best they can. Great that their line holds. Because it's a thin line. We've got dread guards going in. They probably should have got in first instead of the players. Do that real charge bonus. Because they haven't really got the charge bonus off here. They just kind of hit the back of their own lines. But these are probably the scary threat. House Bolton has on off these really heavily armored shock infantry. Try and get a better view of them. There's one there. They look very, very scary. A general has been killed though. Uh, and I think actually it was Ramsey Bolton uh, going in. Yeah. No, it's the unique general here. He's, he's been broken. Okay, I thought maybe it was Ramsey, but it's not. It is the unique general. And he's immediately master out of a load of his own troops here. These knives of the Lord breaking immediately. Tier one cab breaking. Bass is elite also breaking here and the Starks immediately on the left here, their left, having a lot of success. Archers going into melee, 
for um, the player here. I think um, there was a crash or a desync pretty quickly on this uh, side, which is why this player was sending in his archers. It wasn't really him. But really, most of his infantry is now engaged. Uh, there is now Cav sneaking through as well. I think this was a player doing this. And it's a bit cheeky because I think this is a solid line of spears. It's going to cost him uh, knights from doing it, but he's desperate to get his archers. But the free riders sort of save the day. It sort of arrive in time. This medium cab, though it's, you know, taking a lot of losses, is doing a great job. 57 out of 80 still alive. And uh, they've managed to wrap that bastard's elite as they uh, get chased by sworn spears. And uh, yeah, the other gaps are being made. Boltons are finding gaps. I'd say that's a fair gap. They kind of formed column and just went through. Um, but yeah, there you go. A, a minute arms breaking. It's uh, shaking since getting attacked in the rear. But that's the risk they run from being uh, from breaking through. The Starks have now been aggressive on this right flank of theirs. And they're sitting down their men at arms to engage the flayers here. Still no sign of the Veil Knights. They're somewhere in the distance. Maybe Ramsey can hear some sort of like some thundering of hooves, thinking it's his own cavalry, but uh, doesn't realize that actually it's uh, enemy cav. And it looks like more free riders causing chaos. They're going to go for rear charges, I guess, into all these units over here. We've got Sworn Swords still holding here, fighting against Red Guards, and it looks like players. The North remembers how Stark remembers the crimes of the Boltons, slaying the young wolf, Rob Stark, and all his loyal bannermen at the Twins. And now they want revenge. I was going to say, there's not really many Starks really uh, at the Battle of the Bass. There's a lot of like sort of wildlings and like Mormon, how Mormon like rides like a hundred men, like various other like minor houses. But we don't have those yet. We don't even have wildlings. It's shows like how underdeveloped the mod is at the moment. Not like we don't even have wildlings. But uh, I'm sure they're on the way at some point. Dreadguards losing because they're getting focused down. They're focused down there. Awful. They are trying to take out our general. Another breakthrough Defend going on here. Cav getting into the back lines. Actually going in after archers. Seeing a free rider again going to try and put out the fire. And then the uh, spear sergeants here again trying to counter this cab. It is, like I said, melee cabs. So on a charge is actually not like great. I don't think anyone realized until after the cave. So this is a heavy cab. This will surely be elite uh, shock cab. It's not. It's just a melee cab. Which is fine, it's just, it'd be handy to know, I guess, in the future, you wouldn't be so aggressive with it, uh, like the player was. I think the unique general here might be, is a shock cap though, I think, but I'm not entirely sure. I think they're actually going in the swords. I think the only lance I saw was potentially the uh, banner carrier. So this shock cap, uh, this melee cap getting the back lines are trying to deal with spears here. They are shaken, being attacked in the rear though, so uh, that is a good sign. We've got pikes over here. Uh, supporting this fight, so yeah, the Boltons have their pikes that you see in the in the show, kind of heavily featured. And then you can see the general here getting focused down by some archers. Free riders are breaking though; they're starting to have slowly be killed off here. And uh, yeah, this this, uh, this cab here could break through, go after more archers if it wants to. The line is holding nicely though. The Starks and the Boltons are uh, fighting each other nicely. I mean, this, the Boltons are definitely not using their uh, numerical advantage. There's like multiple units here stacked on top of each other being held back by one Stark unit. It's a bit of a problem we saw for the Boltons. They didn't maybe use their numbers enough, try and like outflank. I know they did outflank, but they kind of countered it uh, when they when they charged in. But yeah, they definitely could have flanked around more, I feel like, trying to... Because um, these units don't seem to break very quickly, like the Flayers, even though they're like tier two and they're, they are shaken. They're not breaking, they are holding. Uh, we have got units here breaking though. Flayers are uh, giving it against the uh, men-at-arms. These men-at-arms should beat them again and as they rush down the hill. And then there's, there's a gap opening up here, I guess, in the center for the, uh, for the Starks. There's something that the Boltons can use, but also the Starks can use too. And there we go again. Stark men-at-arms beating the Flayers. And it looks like Archer's really focusing in. It looks like they're focusing on the players. Oh no, they're focusing on those Bolt and Pikemen for sure. Uh, again, Cab being defeated in the back lines by those Stark Spear Sergeants. 
Frees up then to come and support the front line. But the Pikes here really shouldn't be enga uh, being engaged. But I guess, I guess maybe being pinned down because they have to, they have to be. The battle line's kind of here. It's a bit messy on this side. Uh, but also, I guess pin them down, you're gonna shoot them in the back. And players here, they're uh, they're breaking. And it looks like again, yeah, the flay has been routed here and the uh, the Starks can start a counter charge. They can actually run after all these archers if they wanted to. Uh, the Starks still having a lot of joy in their left. They're still encircling. So proven archers here starting to waver as they fight Winter Wolves. This terrible, well not terrible, but terrifying I should say. Shock infantry. These guys are, yeah, not the guys you want to be facing as an archer. They literally have wolves on their heads. The amount of wolves that have to be slain to kick out this... Uh, unit incredible there was a unit I don't think um, they they will have their unit they're like there are dogs left but the uh, men hunters here these guys actually have hounds like with them uh, yeah two of 158 left uh, in that unit and I'm not sure about the other one the other one yeah has no dogs left so they, but they do have like hounds through house Bolton which is kind of cool because that is kind of like a unique thing for uh, Ramsey and there you go it's, Looks like one of the Stark generals going in, and here comes the veil. They've been activated, um, and yeah, this, at this point, it's kind of shifting his balance of power in favour of the of the Starks as the Veil Knights are activated, and they have charged the Pikes, which, as I said earlier in the video, is devastating to Cab. It was not a wise move there by the Veil player, and the, yeah, a lot of the Sargs being slain. That so unit gets looks like that. It's lost 50 riders, eradicated. We've got more mounted sergeants trying to hit the uh, the flanks, but again they're losing, um, and more and more mounted sergeants there, yeah, trying to hit in the sides. But there you go, a mass route taking place. As I, I personally thought it was the sworn spears here helping to support this uh, this cab charge, having a break, uh, both a general and also um, spears and pikes. And there you go, the veil knights getting in amongst the, the dread guards. The and they're going to try and break these guys. The sergeants are certainly not as scary as the uh, the knights. Knights of the uh, Vale are super heavy, Cab. Not just very heavy, super heavy. They do a glorious in their blue and white, and there you go, they're coming in, running some char charges here, but Knight, uh, Knights of the Vale. I really hope that this mod gets a campaign as well. It would really be cool. Ammunition. Really, really would be. Uh, but there's men hunters here. They want to just charge the archers, really, go for as many rear charges and archers as possible to the, uh, to the Vale. But yeah, balance power is now going in favor of the uh, Starks and their Vale allies. There's 4,000 Starkmen left. Uh, they've lost about 2,000 and the uh, and the Boltons are down to about 2,000 themselves. A lot of the troops running back to uh, the Winterfell to, uh, or to maybe to the Dreadfort, going even further. Yeah, Dread, Dread Guards here still holding on. These tier, tier three uh, shock will fight on, to be honest. Fighting against tough spears themselves. And they're getting pestered in the back now by knights. They need to be careful. And I mean, yeah, those knights are getting a lot of kills. General has died now for the Starks, though. He's just charged into some flares and got himself killed. But uh, though he risked his own life and did lose it, he has helped break that flayer's unit there. And uh, yeah, I mean, that could have been costly early on, but I feel like for the Starks, if they'd lost the general, it would have been uh, probably, probably game over with the situation, how it's going. But yeah, as you can see here, the, uh, the Knights of the Vale smashing into the uh, men hunters here, getting rid of them. And yeah, they are starting to master. It's just a lot of archers running for their lives. Like, quick, back to Winterfell, man the walls. Man the walls and the Vale Knights like, no. We are here to honor our, uh, I guess, our allegiance to the House Stark. Now, old Lord Paramount was a good friend of House Stark and the uh, current one, I, well, I guess, has some ties, I guess, to House Stark, I guess, related in a way. I think they must be like cousins. There you go, yeah, proven archers, though, getting run down. They are shaken, but not quite stirred. Yeah, uh, the uh, Vale Knights here need to try and rally them. These proven archers, yeah, hold on, hold on. a little up wild, to be honest. But yeah, these, uh, I'd imagine these knights of the Vale are getting a lot of kills. They are exhausted. They, um, yeah, I imagine they're farming a lot of kills. As uh, you can see, the line has just been entirely routed now. 
And there you go, just a matter of time. And there you go, a close victory for House Stark as uh, yeah, House Bolton's final units just master out. And then we go, we'll end the replay and a quick look at some of the end results. Uh, it's from my perspective, playing as one of the uh, Stark armies, uh, I was trying to hold for a long time. My swords are pretty well, 211, 283 with the men at arms. Uh, the spears, not so great, 88 kills. My uh, like more elite ones, 165, 138. Archers did well, 224, 170, 137 kills. And the cav, one got 101 kills, which is not bad for a medium shock cav. Then we have Eamon playing as the other Stark army, 109 kills. There's a gatekeeper, those pole arms there. His longbow is 156 kills, 170, 133, 112, all getting triple figures. Then his sworn swords, 202, 104 kills. And then his uh, shock infantry, 339 kills and 109. I mean, this one's still really healthy as well. And his free rider is 141 and 118 kills. Then we have Omens playing as the Veil. Did a lot of mopping up at the ends, uh, so his kills might be a bit exaggerated. But 307 kills with the Knights of the Veil. 126 with the mounted uh, shot, uh, like sergeants here. And then we've got the uh, another Knights of the Vale here, 245 kills. Then we have R. Abrazan playing as House Bolton, one of the armies. He had a Ramsey. I think he got focused down, or did Roos got focused down, but he's representing Ramsey. Um, and then, yeah, like the uh, Dread Guards, 69 kills, 69 kills, uh, 62 kills with the Flayers. Yeah, really rough with the Cav as well, like 13. And we have Ike playing as the North, 78 kills with the Dread Guards. Uh, 42 kills with the bastards, elites. Yeah, the flayers uh, and Bolton like sort of spears did nothing. Bolton Pike's got 103 kills though, which is not too bad. Uh, but I have a feeling that the House Bolton might be a little bit unbalanced. I think it might be just a bit too weak to face House Stark. Uh, maybe it's just because it's a minor house against a major. I don't know. Uh, Dread Guards 115 kills here is not too bad though. Uh, Bolton Spears getting 100, uh, getting 100 kills basically. And then, uh, yeah, nothing else getting much in the way of major kills. But there you go, guys. That is today's Ice and Fire Total War battle. If you did enjoy this battle of the Bastard Sword recreation, do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and a comment show support. Don't forget to hit that notification bell as well so you know when more Game of Thrones action is out. And feel free to join the Discord if you ever want to get involved in some or send in your own replays for Total War as well. But until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.